<laughs> hey, well, guys, it's Fresh Jay coming at you with some more Shogun. Oh, we left off last. Um, bees attackers sally forth against me. Um, I don't exactly have a lot of troops, <laughs> as you can see. I have about 60 rifles, which isn't great, but I have, I have a lot of cannons, so that's that's really what I'm hoping will win me the battle here. We are going to fight this battle um, because uh, only only pussies retreat, and we're not scared. Um, even though we do fight at a longer range than them with our cannons, but that doesn't make us pussies at all. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and sit back in, on a hill with our cannons and hope that they can kill the enemy before they get to me. Because as soon as we get into close quarter, my rifles are not going to stand a chance. They're literally cut, uh, cut to pieces. Because um, they just have so many more guns. They have about 1,700 men. And I have about 200. Um, because my Royal Marines are just down to 63 men, I think. And the other other line infantry units down to about another 60 70 men so they're, they're at like a quarter strength right now which isn't great um but let's hope i can hold off um if i do this then i get this settlement which will be kind of nice um it'll just sort of aid me in growing a little bit growing the economy because obviously the more places i have the better economy i have um and just sort of securing my foothold i am working my way uh, my way south i'm um, not south even uh west i don't know why i said south there I'm working my way uh, west, uh, so I can sort of take out, take over the Satsuma. And I've also learnt my lesson not to make people vassals. I thought when I made people vassals that um, they would then turn to being independent along with me, but they did not, and they declared war on me the next turn. So if you did not see that next episode, you didn't miss much. Uh, last episode even, you didn't miss much. Just me being very emotional because all my allies betrayed me, even after I gave them their freedom. As some uh, guy put it nicely, I gave him freedom, and with that freedom, they declared war on me. Yeah, so as you can see, I have no, like, just no rifles whatsoever. These guys are going to get absolutely demolished if uh, they get within range. So let's hope that they do not. Um, I have a nice Yeri uh, catch though, which will be very useful to use. Um, and also, as you can see, I stuck bayonet. I stuck the bayonet mod on, um, and I was meaning to do it ages ago. But I did not, uh, I hadn't done it, um, hadn't thought about doing it, even though I was meaning to do it. Um, and then I was watching some of Lionheart's videos and it just reminded me to do it. So um, I did, and it looks awesome. That does look really, really good. Um, so yeah, I think we're ready to fight for our lives. Cannons are ready to go. So let's, yeah, we are ready to defend my certainly They have so many men. This is my musket line. Right here compared to their musket line which just ranges all along here that's a very long musket range but we have some awesome cannons which will hopefully make us win I probably should have gone up on this hill I could sort of go up into this corner that, that could have been quite useful um, but at least this way my rifles can shoot straight because if I was to stick them down this gap like say, say I put them here they wouldn't actually be able to shoot over this hill which is sort of quite a nice addition I've added in my arrow catch you're gonna to have to run in as well and try hold the line when they get a bit closer that will have to be um, something they do my armstrong guns this armstrong gun is so heavily upgraded it's reloading accuracy is just insane that is, that is awesome crazy awesome we'll speed up whilst they get a bit closer because it's taking them a while to actually get into range oh my general's all the way over here probably best not to have him there let's get him back here Cannons, prepare to fire! I mean, if we can give a general straight away, that'd be awesome. Uh, shrapnel. Oh shit, what did I do? Uh, I did not mean to do that, I want to see this. Oh, that's just horrific. Oh, look at that. Just so much death. I love this game. It's just so fun. Even after, what, two months of it being out, it's still just as fun. Some awesome hits here. We, what we really want to be hitting is probably the. Oh, that was oh, that's awesome. Well done, cannons. You have made me very proud. Now let's hit their other general quickly. Maybe we can kill this dude. But I, eventually, I am going to turn my fire to start hitting the levy garrisons because if they get in close quarters, ouch! That looked like it hurt. If they get in close quarters, then I'm probably going to die because I just don't have enough men. But. Oh, I'd hate to be this general unit right now. That is horrific. I'm going to next volley. No, actually, I'm going to need to switch now. 
let's start hitting the levy. Oh, so so much death. Yeah, let's start hitting the levies. Uh, trying to oh again out. <laughs> yeah, let's start hitting the levies, so then we can start uh, whittling down their numbers, just so that we have a few more. Stick these bad boys up here, and let our cannons just. Because if we, I mean, if we can hold them in a line, then that'd be the hello. You clumped up massively. Let's hit these guys. Kill zone on, so it's even more likely to hit. Look, how can that even miss? It's like impossible to miss. And yet they do. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is just horrible. I feel so sorry for them. Just walking into death. <laughs> Let's stick this unit on uh, Neil Fire as well, so that the, the two units behind can actually shoot as well. But yeah, this bayonet mod just looks awesome. Really does look cool. Because there were actually skins for the um, original models, uh, but they just never implemented them. I guess they never managed to record the CGI for them, uh, which was, I guess, cool because they just didn't have time for it. But still, it just looks awesome. We need to be hitting the spears. That's what we need to be hitting. Rifles prepared to fire. That's them making fire. Okay. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna win this. They just have so many more troops. Let's go for my gem rock. Maybe you can shoot a few of his pistol bullets at them. They're still just taking a pounding from cannon bow. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just relentless. A relentless insult. assault. And now we run away. <laughs> as they just continuously get hit by cannons. I don't know how their morale is this high still. Let's keep on getting them back and just turning around and then shooting them. There you go, the rifles are now shooting. Turn around and have a shot. Yeah, they're just getting destroyed. But even though they're not, even though there's not many of my rifles, they're still so strong. Let's get him back before he gets caught. Yeah, even though there's not many rifles, they're just insanely good still. Let's go stop them from doing that. Stick on rapid advance so we can hopefully stop them from catching my... Yeah, I've stopped them. That's nice. Oh, shit. I need to turn him round, really, so he can return fire. Okay, we need to turn our cannons on uh, these rifles, shrapnel shot, and kill zone back on. They can hopefully turn and shoot. One shot and I can get you out of there. You can probably have more. Come on, keep on shooting, boys. Let's get some nice close-ups. Okay, now let's get him back so he doesn't get caught. Let's get out of there. I should probably be having him uh, actually buy my rifles. Like to inspire them and stuff. But he is a lone wolf. He is taking out... He's being brave and taking out an entire unit by himself. So he shall be honoured. Yeah, they are not saying a chance. I should probably be looking at the main battle on fold though. And they're routing, which is fine. They are routing. Let's get him to clean them up with his rifle. And they can chase all these guys down. Lovely. That is beautiful. Better not stand a chance. I've lost so many men. Like, I haven't lost so many men, but like I don't have any men left in this army. Overall, in this campaign with the army, this army... In particular, I've lost a lot of men. I think that's what I should be saying. Uh, cannons, you've used up all your ammunition, which isn't bad. You can be hitting that unit and killing it before it gets out of range. One of your units can no longer oh, please kill it. Just get a nice hit in the centre of there. That'd be lovely. Oh, that's what we're talking about right there. <laughs> that absolutely destroyed it. Oh, let's kill the general. And let's play it on slow motion whilst we uh, whilst we take down the general. Let's have some nice slow motion hits on them. Oh, that looks awesome! Good news, sir. The enemy general is dead. I oh, that looks so cool in slow motion. Please tell me if you want to have more slow motion, bro, because it's something I haven't really thought about doing, and it just looks so awesome. 
when it happens. They've both just been absolutely annihilated. Comment any more cannons? Shoot my cannon, shoot! There we go, one anyway. But yeah, if you'd like to see some slow mos of rifles shooting, um, I just haven't really thought about it, but I imagine it'd be quite fun to watch, just when the lines clash, doing putting in slow-mo. Never really occurred to me first, to start off with, but um, I'm sure it will, I will make sure I do it in the next few episodes. This episode's not going to be super long, by the way, um, I just, I've got college in a bit, but I thought I might as well record you some Shogun, because um, I'm just quite motivated to make videos at the moment, I'm revising still extremely hard, but... Uh, videos obviously are something I really enjoyed to make so instead of playing games well I'm still playing games but um, whilst playing the games um, when I have break from revision I thought I might as well start recording some because I haven't done it I like I have neglected uh, you guys for a while but I'll make sure I, I try to pump out as many videos as possible and as soon as summer hits it will just be video after video and it'll be it'll be awesome I am looking forward to summer I'm sure as many of you are as well um, but I think we get this settlement now, which is nice. This could be a very nice addition to my empire. Yeah, we lost 146 men. And, oh, we still haven't taken it. That's just annoying. I just want to have that city. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's just annoying. Because I don't have any infantry to actually take the city. Oh, go away. Stop besieging me. My navy's here, but it's not going to do too well. Because they're just so strong. Like, my all my ships are so... Um, oh yeah, what was that? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose by the way, um, which is annoying because the campaign is going to end soon. So, friends of our objectives, yeah, we're gonna lose the campaign, which is gonna be super annoying. Um, I I didn't think about it for ages. Like I was like, oh, it doesn't really matter. Um, we have ages left, and then I kind of realised we don't actually have ages left. Please say, oh no, we just lost us in our entire fleet as well. I was trying, I sort of expected that to happen, but mm, that's just annoying. Uh, so yeah, I guess we have to, there's no ports available. We have been really screwed over. If we had more time, it would be fine. Like, we would be able to destroy everyone and anyone. Because this army, not this army, where's the army? This army over here, as soon as these two uh, go together, that would be an unstoppable force, but... Yeah, I think it's a bit too late now to, um, yeah, I think it's a bit too late for me to do anything. I mean, I've got like 31 turns left, I think, but I don't think I'll be able to take enough settlements within that 30 turns to warrant me a victory, which will be a bit annoying, but we can always start a new campaign because uh, me and Lionheart are actually speaking and we might be doing a carp campaign very, very soon for you guys, which should be really good fun. Uh, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and do that. Exempt from tax. Uh, they got a nice artillery field actually there. Um, we will get rid of that. We don't want that. No, no, no. That's some really high level units though. We'll get rid of that. We'll repair that. What's that? Oh, that makes the settlement very happy. That's nice. And Perumpa is going down, which is nice. We need to start building troops, so that's some, that's what, something we really, really need to do. Uh, we'll repair that. Repair and start recruiting. Not, I don't want to be... Recru I need to recruit a new navy, actually. So start recruiting some rifles. I need to start recruiting rifles there. I'm going to build a barracks there, I think, when that place is destroyed. Um, I'm going to have to start moving out then and start playing super, super aggressive. I'm going to start building a navy as well. Uh, where is... I need to recruit and I need to repair this. It's going to cost me a lot of six grand, but I need to start recruiting a new navy um, to get this army over to the Satsuma Islands extremely quickly. I mean, no, it's even the Obama I have to start fighting. Uh, it's annoying that we're going to run out of time because I might try going to the files and change the end time um, to just carry on playing. If that's, something, that's probably what I'm going to do. Maybe. Or I'm just going to admit defeat and then um, next time when we play a Shogun 2 campaign, um, I'm going to be a lot smarter about it. If I turn independent, then um, then I'll, yeah, I won't be as stupid. If I, if I am going to turn independent, then I will make sure as we no point fighting that battle. It's just, it'll be one anyway. But yeah, if I do turn independent, I'm going to make sure I don't have any allies in the first place. 
I'm going to make sure I kill people like the Satsuma and the Matasuka or whatever the, however you pronounce their name because um, that's going to be the only real way to um, to do anything is because they got so big that when I turned independent it was impossible to actually fight them and let's have some gunboats I mean they're cheap and it'll be easy to transport the army over so that's what we're going to do um, move this army over I mean at least at least I can do is show you guys some awesome battles before the campaign is over so I guess that's the plan with that what we'll do we'll recruit a what we'll recruit a cadet school uh, yeah and also um, in the new campaign because I will be doing a new Shogun 2 campaign we can't just not have a Shogun 2 campaign that's madness um, I'll probably be playing the Sega because I think that'll be quite fun to play or maybe even the Shogun clan there's a lot of clans I have so um, yeah I'll probably hold a vote or maybe I might even do some Napoleon too it depends on what uh, what you guys want to see so um, yeah I'm pretty going to end the episode now um, on that sad sad news of us maybe failing which sucks but um, we will make sure we do come back strong in another campaign because once I played it through I was quite stupid with the campaign like I, I sort of just left everything really late doing it slowly um, next time I will be a lot smarter I will be doing it doing things a lot more efficient and sort of now because this campaign was sort of the first time I played a proper Shogun 2 campaign in a long long time I mean I probably played my last campaign on actual normal Shogun 2 was Fall of a Samurai and that failed awfully because the, camp the campaign was just so hard um, and very hard I mean this is on very hard but there's no point lowering the difficulty now it's a bit too late for that um, but still nonetheless oh it's been destroyed again please go away can you be a brave brave man with your one ship <laughs> they have like nothing left they will fight for honour and glory ah oh, sad times um, yeah I was expecting that to happen anyway we just need to keep on repairing this port and hopefully they can eventually destroy them ships and then recruit my ships um, but yeah we've got a massive army waiting to go hopefully I can use this army we want to get the Royal Marines in it we want to get oh no actually we want to switch that around don't we my bad we want to what are you doing no we want you to go there yeah switch and I want all you guys to switch and you to switch there we go and then we got a badass army. I mean, if I get this army into combat, that's going to be awesome. They're going to be unkillable with fucking Republican infantry. So hopefully I can use this army and I will land along here and invade and actually show you guys some awesome battles before the end. But um, I'm afraid that it looks like it's going to end soon. It's sad, sad times that I'm saying that. But oh my god, hello, you big ass army. Recruit some men as quickly as possible. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Uh, if you like this episode, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot. Um, whilst we play out the few last turns of this campaign, um, we're still a we're still a proud nation. You know, we still have Tosa, um, but alas, we do not have the whole of Japan. So that, that is annoying. But I guess we'll just have to wait till the last last thirty turns. Really, we'll play through. Uh, being very depressed because we know we're obviously not going to complete it but nonetheless we shall make sure that we are very very honourable and strong but we'll keep on recruiting levies to try and hold off this uh, that massive army which is looking like it's going to get us uh, that's not too good I mean we can get some more men here get some decent men at least we have some line infantry there but still nonetheless it is not looking great for us so yeah, um, I will make sure that I bring you guys another episode very soon. Um, so yeah, see you guys next time.